All right, so let's go with this for a second. You've refused anesthesia and the surgeon says, okay, but you understand what that means, right? What actually happens next? Well, it ain't pretty. Picture yourself lying on an operating table. The lights are bright. You can hear the monitor beeping. You feel the cold of the surgical prep on your skin. And then you feel the first cut. Without anesthesia, every nerve ending in that area sends pain signals up your spinal cord and straight into your brain's pain centers, the somatosensory cortex, and the limbic system, including the thalamus. Of course, the result is intense, unbearable pain. And it's not just about what you feel. Your body reacts to this too. Your heart rate spikes, your blood pressure surges, you start to hyperventilate, your stress hormones go through the roof, you might even go into shock from the trauma. This isn't theoretical. This is exactly what used to happen before anesthesia was invented. In the early 1800s, surgeries were done fully awake. Patients were restrained, surgeons worked as fast as humanly possible, and countless people died, not from the surgery itself, but from pain-induced cardiac arrest. Yeah, that's a thing. So unless you're a monk or something, you probably won't be able to just sit back and tough it out. The body's stress response is just too powerful for the vast majority of us to endure for any length of time.